So I want to tell you right off the bat. First off, thank you to Focus Home Interactive for sponsoring this segment of the stream. We're checking out Snow Runner. It is the follow-up to Mud Runner, a game about you know carrying heavy loads and getting stuck in the uh, stuck in the mud, and then using uh, you know a winch. Using your engines, using differential lock, using different vehicles to try to push yourself out with, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When physics are like, uh, I mean, it's like real physics, but also when you spin your tires on it, it like spits gravel out and you sink in further, you know what I mean? There's a word for it. It's like transforming physics. Anyway, let's just call it fluid dynamics and pretend it's, uh, it's a real thing. We're going to start a, a new game here, but you can type exclamation points. Snow Runner in chat. You can go check out the game for yourself. I would encourage you to do so. And I, I believe you start in Michigan, so it's Dan's ideal game. I Like I said, I learned how to drive in the winter. My first driving was in the winter. Not last winter, but in the winter. Um, so I think I'm kind of an expert at getting out of the snow. Thank you for joining our recovery and maintenance effort after the devastating flood. We need all help available to help repair the bridge that's collapsed. It's our only link to the other side of the river. First, you need to find a watchtower to get a view of your surroundings. Then, you will have to find a truck capable of transporting the materials needed to repair the bridge. After the bridge is repaired, you'll be able to reach your first garage. Can I get a confirmation, by the way, that uh, the game name is indeed... Snow Runner? Confirmed. Thank you. Your first move should always be to scout new areas. I got a Chevrolet CK1500. Your tracked objective shows up here. Let's go find that watchtower. All right. Don't don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. I got to be honest. It's a little bumpy right out of the gate. I feel like you should very much uh, pave this, or at least put some gravel down. Hold LB. Oh, no. You need to switch to low gear. Hold LB and move R to the left to activate low gear. I've done it. I'm telling you, gravel's pretty cheap. Your truck is all-wheel drive capable. It will also help you out in tough terrain, but will increase your fuel consumption. Okay, we're in all-wheel drive. You should get off low gear when you're on normal terrain. I would not describe this as normal terrain yet. I might describe this as normal terrain. Let's see. Oh, baby. Look at that. We're bouncing. I gotta say, it's not that hard to, to drive on this road. I'm starting to think this guy might have had the one too many adult beverages on his way to the watchtower. Look at that. Look at that. A real road. Okay. You... Whoop. Skirt, by the way. Vehicle damaged. You have damaged your vehicle. You can, open, you can open the function menu to get more details about the damaged parts. I just took five points off the engine. Big whoop. Okay, get me off of all-wheel drive. You're, you're wasting my fuel economy. I gotta be honest. This, this thing doesn't... Uh, it doesn't turn on a dime. This ain't uh, Forza Horizon. We got real vehicular physics here. Whoops, I activated the handbrake. What I meant to do was uh, change my camera so I could drive in the first person. I was promised snow. Just you wait. When the Ice Nation attacks, it's all going to become clear. Detour. Reading terrain. You will encounter different kinds of terrain, such as road, dirt, mud, deep mud, water, rocky slides, snow, and ice. Only the most experienced drivers with well-equipped vehicles can drive on any kind of terrain. When in doubt, there's no shame in avoiding danger. 
All right, but like, hear me out here. No barricade can stop me. Okay. Um, put me in low gear and all wheel drive, please. Might take us a little bit to ford the river, but it is what it is. Your battery's gonna get wet. I'm gonna be honest. I think we've created a, a poor situation for ourselves. Oh, yeah, I need one of my boys to winch me out. Hold on. Using the winch. If you're stuck, you can try using your winch and see if there's anything around that you can attach it to. Functions. Attach winch. Okay, okay. Your winch should be connected to a solid object. Select the winch point on your vehicle. And a winch point to an object to collect, to connect them. Okay. I would like to connect the back of my truck... To that, yes, that tree. No, 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 no. Release winch. I would like to attach the winch. Dude, I was throwing it in reverse. This thing is, is in a bad spot right now. To this tree, please. Okay. Then pull that winch. Uh... Okay. Okay. Look at that. Keep me going. Keep me going. You're right. Well, I was going to say I have to shift gear to reverse. Yeah, no, you're just right. You're just right on that one. Okay. So, you know what? Here's what I'm thinking. Get your, get your gear set up again. Quite the turning radius on this thing. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Put me in all-wheel drive. There we go. This thing's got a freaking Hemi. Now put me on normal terrain. I got one more step here that makes sense to me. I know that there is a detour. I got one more step. The step is very simple. Just go as fast as possible. Okay. Real quick. Auto reverse me, please. Thank you. Gotta be honest, the turning on this, uh, this Chevy is stuck in like 1925. This is why I got a Ford. They're completely different. Okay. Maximum speed, please. You may repair your vehicles in the garage or use special service add-ons and trailers. You know... I might take you up on that, but we did just make it across. So how you can refuel here or near any vehicle that may potentially have fuel. Refueling is free as are repairs. Oh, baby. Well, if repairs are free. Of course I'm coming in here. I don't know, though. I don't like free gas. You know, I was watching uh, Bloomberg News recently. Shouldn't they be paying me for gas? <laughs> okay. Fuel up. And then... Repair at garage. Oh, we don't need to recover. Okay, hold on. Get the map open here. Alright, so we want to just take the path behind us and we should be good to go. Turn off all-wheel drive. Throw this in reverse. Try not to hit the, the petrol pumps. And just go, you know, you, know what's, you know what's going on. You're going to go low, and you're going to go all-wheel drive, and that's going to be able to get you through this puddle. Or, alternatively, you could just drive around it, now that I think about it, but... You, you could use the winch, 
If you gotta use the winch, you can use the winch. But look at this. We're making roads. We're making inroads. That would be running from a challenge. Exactly. It's not a speed run. You know, I'm getting paid by the hour here. Look at that. It's very simple. The man is too talented. Where's the snow? I'm telling they gotta give you the tutorial first. And if anything, you shouldn't be saying, where's the snow? What you should be saying is like, oh my god. They have snow and mud. You get two for the price of one. Note the watchtower ahead. Such icons will help you to see objectives on your map. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. I still, I'm not I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it out in low gear. Watchtower discovered. To repair the bridge, you will need a bigger vehicle to transport materials. Open your map to look at your surroundings. Find a truck capable of transporting the materials needed to repair the bridge. Yo! Okay. Um, mark your way. By pressing RT, you can place markers on your map. You can delete the marker with LT or clear the route by holding LT. But what truck do I want? I guess the only truck we have access to is the GMC MH9500. All right. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Okay, so we're going to go here. You could drive through the forest. That was the thing about Mud Runner. You can absolutely drive through the forest if you want to. Um... It just might be unadvisable because you'll you'll get stuck and you'll take a while. But if, if you're a freaking expert, like by all means, don't let me slow you down. But we're gonna stick to the we're gonna stick to the road, relatively speaking. I can live with that. And go here and then quick little 90 degree turn there. Easy. Notice that your tracked objective has changed. You're absolutely right. That is my truck in her driveway. Is there multiplayer? Not only is there multiplayer, you can play the whole campaign in single player or multiplayer. Oh, we didn't need to be in low gear. This is outrageous. In fact, multiplayer, I think, it helps you out. Because uh, if, if you get stuck or your friends get stuck, there's someone to pull you out. I believe the way that it worked in uh, Mud Runner in single player is like if you got stuck, you could then like teleport yourself to another truck to try to get it out. But oftentimes it just leads to, or it led to me having like nine trucks stuck in the same quicksand. Quicksand. Sorry, I forgot uh, the word. I mean, this is an incredible performance right now. I'm not caring too much about the uh, fuel economy, to be honest, just because of the fact that gas is free. I'm not sure if you got the memo. 90 degree turn uphill here. Don't flip it, dude. Oh, we kind of lost it for a second there. Now we're talking. Now we're getting... This is a 1,400-ton truck. These trucks are designed for roads, so there are no off-road options included. Try not to fall into the swamp or drive into deep mud with it. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best. Good. It's not the best truck for the job, but this will have to do. The company Steel River Township is waiting for you to repair the bridge. You can find contracts like this one in the map menu. Done. There you go. We need to do two objectives. Deliver metal planks to the old bridge and deliver wooden planks to the old bridge. 
I have accepted the contract. Additional markers have appeared. The one in town is the storage facility where you will be able to pick up the required cargo. The marker near the broken bridge indicates the delivery location. Let's go check out town storage. Where am I right now? Oh my god. Okay. So we're going to come down here. This is where it's about to get real. And we're going to come through into the town. Into the town should be no problem. Good roads. And then... I think we want to go all the way to the western entrance. And do not fall into the swamp. It's just that easy. We're now ready to repair the bridge. I'm ready. This this seems like a big uh, this seems like a big step up for me. Very simple, y'all. When we press right trigger, smoke comes out. There's no all-wheel drive on this son of a gun. I have to admit, I believe we may have gotten stuck early. Or already, I should say. Let's see if we can make it. Come on. Come on. It does look like uh, the landlord's super truck. Let's go. Okay. 93 meters to go. Yo, I watch... I, I'm really interested in these sorts of games. Ever since I watched this documentary about uh, truck drivers in Ghana. And... Not all of the roads look like this, but quite a lot of them do. And they're like one lane, and there's cars coming in both directions. And they're like, yeah, basically, like, if your axle breaks out here, you are you might die. So they all have to, they drive like, like you have to drive in SnowRunner. Like, they all drive in such a way that the, the truck is like, at as little risk of damage as possible. All roads in Michigan look like this. Be honest with me. Do you have state income tax in Michigan? Okay, no signal lights necessary. We do? How does that happen then? Whenever we drive on Washington roads and they're a little stinky, I go... I get it. Nobody here is paying state-level income tax. Whoops! <laughs> oh. Sorry, I didn't put my eyes on the road. I did 16 damage to engine. Okay. Municipal warehouse, city center. Don't hit the building. You hit the building. Here we go. Now it's getting real. Load me up. I need one times metal planks, please. You may attach trailers found out in the wilds and use them to your liking. Trailer attachment is done from the function menu. You may be unable to attach for a variety of reasons, including distance, angle of approach, or available equipment. To attach a trailer to your truck, you should approach it with the tail end of your truck. After you are close enough, activate the functions menu and choose attach trailer. I don't think I need a trailer on this. I, th I, think, we, I think I just want you to put metal planks. Into the, the bed of my truck. There you go. Thank you for auto loading me. One times metal, metal planks. Okay. They've trusted me with this. Sideboard trailer discovered. 30 stars. Now we need to set the GPS. I mean, if we can repair this bridge, I'll be slightly proud of myself. But I am eager to do some drifting on the snow. I'm not going to deny it. Now, you got to learn how to crawl before you can walk, right? 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 That might be relevant information for me soon.
So we're, we're I mean, I'm content to learn how to crawl. And then later we can learn how to run. Because I got to tell you, I'm not quite sure how we're going to get over uh, the, the Mississippi River here. The Chattahoochee. I will do my best, though. I don't know anything about dry loads. I've only hauled liquid. Are you... Is this a euphemism? Or is this... Uh... Or do you drive a tanker? I don't know. I think this looks pretty stable. This looks pretty stable to me. Hold on. Where's our next... Our next turn? Here we go. We're off. Okay. Highway number one. Just be barely... Barely just grazed the telephone pole. Did you cinch the metal rods down enough? I think, I mean, I, I said auto load. So I'm going to hope that the game got that sorted out for me. I got to... No, we don't need that. We don't, we don't need to refill all the time. I need as much momentum as possible. This is it. This is for all the marbles. Dude, this thing's got a lot of power. Oh, I, I turned my handbrake on. There we go. You're right. We should be playing in uh, first-person mode. Driving a truck. Driving a big old truck. Pedal to the metal. Hope I don't run out of luck. This is how you drive, right? It's how everybody drives in the movies. Careful. I think they got a Ford Focus in this game. Oh, baby. Cargo management. When unloading cargo, you may be presented with different unloading options as one cargo may be used to complete different objectives. When the current unloading area is used to complete only your current job, there may be others used in multiple contracts. All right. Understandable. Oh! Let's go. The bridge is on its way, but it's not there yet. To complete it, you should deliver another portion of cargo to the building site. We got it. Okay. The lumber mill is always where it gets a little touchy. Uh, maybe not. Because, I mean, the town is, like, paved. But out here, it's all, like, it's just nature's roads. So that's a trailer. I think we can get it from either, either spot there. Sure. Send me. There's deep mud out there? I don't know. There might be deep mud out there. Dude, for all I know, there might even be snow out there. You gotta be careful. Probably not, because there's flooding, which to me means that we're probably, like, you know, it's the springtime. Where's the... I was just gonna ask where my rearview mirror is. I guess this is my rearview mirror. Don't worry, you got it. This is easy. This is why they invented the backup camera, but if it's stupid and it works, it isn't stupid, dude. Alright, that seems horrible. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. You're gonna get there. It's alright. You're gonna get there. Did I Austin Powers it? There may have been a little bit of... Austin Powers. Thing. Oh, God! Um, quite a lot of damage done to my vehicle there. Um, definitely does not appear to enjoy moving right now. It only moves... It moves okay in reverse. Let's go. Uh, I think I've absolutely destroyed my other tire now. Um, can I go to the garage, please? 
recover vehicle to start zone. I accept this. Thank you. And, and truck is fully repaired. There you go. You make your own rules. Not to mention, was there a little bit of resin involved? Perhaps. Um, it also places us right next to the lumber mill, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, the fuel does slosh around in the uh, in the tank as well. Like it, it really it models the physics stuff. It tries to be as realistic as possible, you know. I really get the idea that if you're gonna um, if you're gonna make a game that appeals to the niche blue collar hauler amongst us. You really want it to be as one-to-one -one as possible. I've heard nothing but good things. <laughs> this is why I hate games. They just appeal to the ultimate male power fantasy. Special poop! Alright. I'm, I'm not cut out. I'm not cut out for uh, first person yet. That's a whatever. One damage to my engine. That's why I can't wait for the cyber truck. It's gonna be indestructible. Look at this. No problem. This is what it was like growing up in uh, Eastern Ontario. You, you gotta do a full send on this one. There's no doubt about it. You know? You got roads so thin, if somebody's coming the other way, you pull over into the ditch. I learned how to rollerblade on a gravel driveway. It's a different era. Why? Because I wanted to rollerblade. Yeah, you definitely it hurt pretty bad when you fell. Couldn't get a whole lot of momentum going either. Look at this. It's just a perfect performance. I skateboarded on gravel for like two years. Kindred spirits. Look at this. Single-handedly. Saving the economy of Western Michigan. When you get enough experience, you get a new driver rank. Every rank provides you with new options regarding vehicle and add-on purchasing. Objectives may also require you to reach a certain driver rank before they're unlocked. Press down to access your driver portfolio. Profile. Yo. Uh, okay. All, I'm familiar. Michigan, Alaska, what the heck is Tamir? I do not know. It's in Russia? I think we figured out where the snow comes in. Missions finished in Michigan. 3 of 82? Contract completed. Give me the money. Objective. Find the garage. Get to the garage. It's an exclamation point supply contract please clear that for me get to the garage get to the garage leaving the beaten track to go exploring is the secret to success visiting watchtowers is a great way to reveal large elements of the map okay so unless i'm a fool i do not see a garage on our map so i believe we will venture into the great unknown You fool, it was on the right watchtower. Ah, you're absolutely right. Okay, we will not venture into the great unknown. But what we will do is make our own path. How about that? How do you feel about that? Let's say you travel here at your own risk. Look, it's very simple. If I see a 55 mile an hour speed limit, nothing's gonna stop us. 
If I see a, uh... If I see a 15 mile an hour speed limit, then I'm gonna be very upset. Things are gonna get tough. But for now, nothing to worry about. Um... Okay. Uh, I don't know what happened here, to be honest with you. The road has been closed. The only way through this for us is gonna be... I mean, there's, there's no way out, brother. You gotta go through the forest. Just gotta go... Yeah, this is okay, you go low gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this... Dude, this is gonna work. Everyone's going F, F, F. This is gonna work. This is... I, I played Mud Runner. You, you probably should be in the other truck, but... Really, you only need to switch vehicles if you're bad. If you're good, you just... do it. Okay, I, I cannot deny... I am sinking into deep mud right here. So we're gonna go... Attach a winch. We're gonna try to attach it to the front of our vehicle. Um, to maybe this tree right here and then we're gonna, we're gonna pull that son of a gun I believe we have pulled the tree down I believe we have deforested the area okay we're gonna try you know what maybe you could maybe you could pull me out backwards maybe you could pull me out backwards here let me throw this son of a gun into reverse Hey, it's a living. <laughs> Alright, I mean, I, third time's a charm. There, that one looks kind of stout. Now, we just want to... We don't want to pull the tree down. We just want to... If it could occasionally lend us... Oh, son of a gun. Alright. Um... I would like to change truck, please. Okay, I would like to recover. Take me back. All right. Is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put me in the other truck. Put me in the other truck. Let's go. All right. Now we're talking. Like I said, you only need to change trucks if you're bad. I am bad, so as a result, I will be changing the trucks. It's just that simple. Look at it. Oh my god, this thing controls like a freaking dream compared to the other one. What a beautiful sunset, too. The day-night cycle kind of reminds me of uh, the Hunter. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. Who put that there? Headlights are right on the D-pad, if I remember. It's not right. It's not left. It's not down. It's not right stick. Left stick is... Uh, oh, hey. Easy there. LB plus B. Oh my god. We have a wizard in our chat. Left stick is how you do engine damage. I don't need to worry about that, because I, I do occasionally get to dangerous water level, but I don't stay there for very long, because I'm, I'm actually quite good. One of, the, one of the better drivers out there. I mean, here's the thing, if you're just driving to work, yeah, you're not gonna damage your vehicle on the average commute, you know, on the interstate. You don't get to have a smug attitude. Well, when I drive, I don't, my car never hits anything. Yeah, this isn't your commute, probably. You, you coastal elite. Going to work in a big glass building in downtown Manhattan. This is the this is the way you drive when you work for a living, sweetheart. Occasionally, you're gonna end up hitting a telephone pole or a a tree stump or a mailbox with a baseball bat or something like that. Keep drinking your Pepsi bottles with your Coca-Cola glass. I don't give a dang. I glanced. Can I tell you something? I glanced at chat there. 
I really thought I was I was going over the bridge and I glanced at chat. We're gonna do a quick little recovery. Um I don't know if I'm getting out of this one, boys. I'm just gonna be honest <laughs> with you. Alright, alright. Hear me out here. Give me a quick uh, recovery. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Alright, we can make it back. Can I tell you something, though? I, honestly, I don't want to do a night drive here. I would like to skip some time. That's better. This is the tutorial, by the way. Yeah, but it's a different kind of tutorial. It's not a tutorial that's like, hey, uh, A is jump, and uh, X is shoot, and then, oh, by the way, if you press A twice, your head's gonna explode. You can jump twice. It's crazy. This tutorial is, is not teaching me how to play the game. It's teaching me a life skill. You know, we, I, I respect it. We're learning some very valuable information here. Oh, baby. Okay, slow, slow, slow. Have you ever thought of growing a mustache, NL? In many ways, I'm growing one right now. I would, I just, I shave it off on the regular. Not a big deal. Um, I think, uh, I think bald mustache almost never works. But I do think 2020 fashion can almost make it work. Uh, but if I'm not going to grow one in 2020, I ain't growing one ever. So I think the answer is, is absolutely not. We have forded the river, ladies and gentlemen. That's step one. A little bit of engine damage. You don't need me to go off on the same rant again. Your child is going to draw pictures of you bald. I hope so. If they draw a picture of me and the dad has hair, then that's going to invite a lot of questions. I would rather they draw, draw me bald. Otherwise, well, hey, he screwed. be quite confusing. Dude, that's a great idea for a sketch. Is bringing a, a picture that your daughter drew in kindergarten to your wife when you're bald and he has hair and being like, care to explain this? Who the fuck is this? Uh, the character marked dad in this drawing clearly has hair. Who the hell is this? That would be a great sketch. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Garage! Garage! We need to go to the garage. Follow the sign that says garage. 15 miles an hour? All wheel drive, please. The plate does say savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Let me out. Let me out of the mud. Let me out of the mud. Let me out of the mud. You know what? That wasn't too bad. Don't glance and drive. I mean, that was me with my eyes on the road. That's what should really scare you. Is it like $1,000 fine for dumping? My dad laid bricks in this place! Oh, the skirt, skirt, skirt. There's the garage. We didn't even need to make a marker. The 
heck is that? Nuclear silo? This place is Crater City. Man, I'm gonna stop razzing Dan. I had no idea he lived in this place. Water over road. I mean, if you had the wherewithal to put up the sign, you couldn't just, like, drain it? Like, where I'm from, when we have problems like this, we, we rely on our city services to, to take care of them. But I guess I'm some kind of fool. This is not what Detroit looked like in the 2017 film It Follows. You're doing okay. Just back it up a little. And then send it further. Oh! Careful. Careful, Ned. This is the, the most difficult task we've ever faced. No all-wheel drive. Oh, he's bucking like a Bronco, dude. Okay, get upgrade. Raised. Not available for current truck? That's okay. They may not apply to your current vehicle, but will be useful for others. Finding an upgrade gives you a copy of it for free and unlocks it in the customization store. You can check the whole list of applicable vehicles in the upgrade window. You can install upgrades in your garage. Sure. I, I'm, I'm very happy to have raised... In West Philadelphia, born and raised? I, I much prefer a raised truck to a lowered truck, for sure. Wait, no. Lowered trucks are cool. Raised trucks scare me on the highway, because every single one is like Gravedigger. Sorry, I had it backwards temporarily. Okay. All-wheel drive, low gear, please. What's the point of a lowered truck? You drive it to your Fast and the Furious Vin Diesel uh, drag racing start while the song goes dun 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 You gotta get the green glow under your car and get the boom boom system that you can hear real far Thank you, thank you. Auto AWD is fastest on mud. There you go. This, what an incredible tip. Oh! Careful. Watch out for that first step. It's a doozy. I mean, we repair for free at the garage, so I'm not sweating it. You know, we... I, the fact that we made it here is like a... A dream in and of itself. Garage discovered. What you have done so far is the meat of the game. Explore and discover watchtowers, complete contracts to earn rewards, and find garages to improve or buy new vehicles. Now let's get inside. First off, though, uh, there's an upgrade location. Green glow. Oh, engageable. AWD. Contract completed. Get to the garage. 850 bucks just for driving home. you love to see it. The garage is used to store, upgrade, and customize buy and sell vehicles, but also for traveling to other regions. You will have a garage in the location to unlock and use it. Not every location has a garage in it, so be sure to keep in mind where your closest garage is. Well, home is where your heart is. Or, you know, it's a cinch to live where your winch is. Something like that. You don't have to complete everything in your current location before moving on to the next. Some interesting trucks or resources can be found in other locations and regions. So let's do some traveling. Oh, baby. You wanted snow? You're about to get some snow. This is not the truck that I, I learned how to drive on. I learned how to drive on a Ford F-150. And then, like, on the back of it, it was completely covered. So you, you had, like, a blind spot that was, like, 15 feet long on either side. This is, this is baby mode. Okay, I have retained you. 
Go to the global map with Y. <sighs> Let's go visit Alaska. Oh, baby. North Port. You have a garage waiting for you here. Let's get inside. We're going to see some snow. It is empty because your vehicle is still in storage. Go to truck storage to see how it works. I have done it. Excuse me. Uh, you can now deploy your retained vehicle from storage. But it appears to be... Uh, oh, maybe you buy another one for 12300 I was like, I don't have that kind of cash. Deploy, please. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Submenus of the garage let you customize your vehicles, buy new ones, and manage all the vehicles you have in truck storage. While I understand that, I'm ready. Welcome to Alaska. Now you know the basics of the game. It's up to you. Finally ready. To scout, accept contracts, upgrade, or buy new vehicles, and conquer the wilderness. Completing contracts in Alaska might be tougher because of the weather conditions. If you want to be more prepared, you can come back to Michigan and explore Alaska later. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Where are we starting here? Well, you know what? Why don't we find this service hub? And on the, in, on the way, we'll encounter a trailer station. Release the handbrake. Trailer store? What a ripoff. Thank you, by the way, for your faith in me. Um, I can indeed drive on, on snowy terrain. Doesn't bother me. In the same way, Swedes, when they want a cinnamon bun, they just strap a couple of cross-country skis to their feet, go off to the races. That's me in these icy conditions. Yo, Joe High Death, thank you again. Thank you again for the gifted subscriptions. It's very simple. You want to you drive in the snow or the ice? Let me tell you something, okay? A lot of people in Vancouver could use this lesson. You want to drive the snow or the ice? You don't use your brakes that much. Instead of using your brakes, you look where you want to go, and you apply stable pressure to the gas pedal to get you into that direction. If you hit the brakes, you lose complete control. You got to look where you want to go and apply constant good pressure to the gas. There you go. I just saved your life. See, that's what happens when you hit the brake. <laughs> this is a task zone. You'll have to enter it to accept the task and get additional information. Truck is fully repaired. Thank you. I appreciate it a great deal. Um, oh, it's a contract, baby. You can play this with a wheel. The only reason I didn't is because I, my wheel is in storage right now. And I was also like, the thing is, I, when I strap the wheel, this is a new desk I've never strapped the wheel to. It's a little thinner and honestly like a little flimsier. So I'm pretty sure the force feedback on it is going to make the webcam go like... Rrr. So I thought, for presentation's sake, we stick to the 360 controller today. And also to illustrate the fact you can have a lot of fun with it, with just keyboard and mouse controls or the 360 controller, you don't necessarily need a $230 Logitech G29 pedal and wheel setup, but if you have one, then go for broke. Tasks are small additional objectives that will often make your life easier by unlocking new paths. It is also a good opportunity to earn money. They are discovered when exploring the world. Name's Pete. I work for a transport company called Alaskan Transit. We've had an unfortunate incident that's resulted in a man falling in the river in Lego City. Can you locate them and get them to base? I accept your contract, Pete. I accept your contract. And with my newly repaired vehicle, I will go complete this task for you. I don't know if I need a trailer for this. I mean, it depends on how big the tools are. If it's like a couple of hammers, we can take it. If it's like, you know, 15 jackhammers, I would be a little bit more pessimistic. Let's just be honest. It's a lathe. 
I bet we could tell one lathe in this. They are tar they are cargo containers. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Fa 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 fa. You need a trailer and a crane. Well, we are definitely going the wrong way. Okay. Um, in that case, recover me, please. And could I also, from the truck store... No, I don't have nearly enough money. Can I get the Con 39 Marshall? We absolutely can. We, you know what we call that? Streamer resin. I've gotten the DLC uh, in my in my founders pack. <laughs> but I don't. I mean, this is still not going to be able to uh, to pull it out. I don't know. Maybe the maybe if I get something from the trailer store. Yeah. Well, the jerk store called, and they're all out of you. Okay, trailer store. If you'll just hit the brakes quickly, thank you. Um, no trailers available for this truck. All right, I'll tell you what. Get me out of this. I've been lied to. Take me inside of the garage. Sell this Jeep? I would never. This was given to me by the developers. My father laid bricks in this building. Truck storage. We'll take the Chevy. Well, we can just do some basic exploring. But I wouldn't mind getting a trailer. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You've taken my parking spot. Please do not leave a vehicle parked in the garage exit zone. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left a vehicle parked in the garage exit zone. That's my mistake. Okay, trailer store. You know what? Give me that scout flatbed. Okay, then we'll just explore a little bit. So, step one, get the watchtower. You'd have to be a fool not to rush down a watchtower right off the bat. So, if you could take me... To this watchtower. That's the dream. And if the trailer causes problems, we'll just eat it. Just be... Again... The worst thing you can do is panic. You just gotta point yourself where you wanna go and then hit the gas. You just point yourself where you wanna go and you hit the gas. You hit the brake, you're gonna spin around. They're gonna show your video on the CBC News. All the other Canadians. Canadians, the number one thing they make fun of each other for is not being able to drive in the snow. If it ever snows, in Vancouver, Kate and I have to drive somewhere. She'll tell you the number one thing I say is, "Oh my God, look at these idiots! Oh my God, what? Where did you learn how to? Do? Yeah, I know. This. What are you doing? You can't hit your brakes. Why are you going so fast, you dummy? Anyway, something along those lines. Same thing in Alaska. In many ways, in many ways, we're kindred spirits. Okay. Okay, good stuff. Now, this is going to be a little dangerous. It's a little heavier now. Alaska and Vancouver are nothing alike. Excuse me, we both have mountains. Sweetheart? Trailer seems like it's doing okay back there. Very nice of someone to make some tire tracks through here for me. You're gonna say NL. This is not this is not how you do this. Put your handbrake on so you don't go down. This is the spirit of SnowRunner, okay? So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna attach the winch 
to any one of these lovely trees that Mother Nature put here exclusively for this purpose. And all of a sudden, what once appeared impossible is now impossible to fail at. So we still need a little bit more support. That's because we got our handbrake on. That probably is not helping. Thank you, tree. Now I understand why God put you there. Okay, now as time goes on, you may find yourself getting a little stuck again. It is what it is. So you go attach winch, you attach it to the front here. And if you can find a tree out here, like, oh, I don't know, that one... That one's not, it's not a mighty oak. That's what we're looking for right there. Select your winch point. Give yourself a little something something. And we're out here. Look at this. Look at this. We're through. We're through. There's tire tracks here. I will admit, when learning how to drive, I have spun out once. Well, I, it would, I didn't spin out. I, I did a fishtail. I was pulling. It was the first time I had been in control of the car on an icy day. And I turned left out of my high school and, uh, you know, oversteered substantially. And then corrected it, and it's more adrenaline than I've ever felt in my entire life. Um, so, I will say, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how we're going to get the cargo containers, but I think, if I could just detach my trailer quickly, there's a realistic chance we could make it through the water. Okay, it's doing damage. And there's nothing to attach the winch to. Alright. The engine is broken. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to recover our truck. We're going to leave our garage. So you're telling me that that comment about having a snorkel was not a joke. That was not a joke. I was like, this guy thinks he's really funny. <laughs> Snorkels are real things. In your garage, you can get a snorkel. I don't need the upgrade for it. I can just, I can just get it. Garage. You've never been mudding? I'm willing to tell you, this may surprise you, but I have indeed never been mudding. Truck store, please. I don't know if you can complete this task yet. Okay, that's honestly pretty, pretty understandable. That seems like a very realistic opinion right now. On the other hand... Oh, if we just take the other path. Hold on. Come out of here. Go through here. Go here. And then down through there. And we can at least get to the watchtower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. I'd like to leave the garage, please. feel like I'm, I'm stuck in the garage. They, they're trying to force me to buy a truck. Click local map. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go. I forgot about my teleportation abilities. Okay. This time we're going to do it. Skirt. Look at See, we would have crashed. If I had not followed my own advice there, we would have crashed. 
Now this is a good drive to school. Okay. Whoops. Now is that... I was gonna say is that ice or water, but I guess they're fundamentally pretty similar. I don't know, here's the thing. My Canadian senses tell me um, that ice is not thick enough to support uh, a fully grown adult male inside of a pickup truck. So we're, we're not gonna take too many chances. Not gonna take too many chances on that one. We're gonna do a little ring around the rosy pocket full of posy. If we get stuck here, that's okay. That's what the winch is for. Well, I don't wanna... Who knows how deep that is, dude? That could be the Marianas Trench in there. The Marinera Trench. Yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right. It is thick enough. Okay, it's deep mud, of course, very understandable. The mud is quite deep. It's also, it's, it's snowy. I mean, this is not fake Canadian. Every year, like, one person in my hometown dies trying to drive their pickup truck or their snowmobile across Lake Ontario. Why? You know, it's the Canadian winter. What else are you going to do? To get to the other side. <laughs> so they flee to Michigan? No, that's, um... It's a different... I don't know, is Michigan across from Lake Ontario? Or is it across Lake Michigan from Windsor? I'm not good at the Great Lakes geography, despite living very close to Lake Ontario when I grew up. It's like Superior! Okay. Okay, my mistake. Here's the thing. We'll put this in low gear. We got stuck. It is what it is. So we're gonna... We're gonna attach the winch to the front. We got some mighty oaks here. And look at that. We, we didn't need your help. We're cruising. We're cruising. No, they were driving from Kingston to Wolf Island. This car does not have a differential lock, but, but some of our cars, or some of our trucks do. Yeah, just get yourself, just get yourself out of it a little bit. Oh, baby. We gotta be uh, approaching speeds of three. You think you could drive this road in your focus? So like two or three Christmases ago? Well, the short answer is absolutely not. Two or three Christmases ago, we went down to uh, Washington to have like Christmas dinner at our in-laws place. On the way back, it was a blizzard and legitimately was the scariest time I've ever been the driver in a driving situation. And it's hard, because, like, the whole time, you know, you gotta... The passenger is getting a little anxious. You gotta be like, it's no problem. I grew up driving in this stuff. But then, like, every time I took a turn, I was like, holy shit. This is crazy. But once we, once we got on the highway, it was totally fine. Prior to the highway, it was... It was nasty, though. Makes me wonder how many times, like, when I was anxious when my dad was driving, and he's like, it's no problem, I've driven in this a hundred times. He was probably like, what the hell? I've never seen weather like this before. <laughs> Alright, we actually made it to the watchtower. Bags on ice. They made a show about uh, cars crashing on the 401, and now I never want to drive. 401 can definitely be a little spooky. I mean, I'm telling you, if it snowed in Vancouver, 
regularly, like 50% of the population would die on the road every year. Because it doesn't snow here, only like 2% of the population does. If it was snowing here like crazy all the time, it would be a disaster. So, I mean, the 401 is like, you know. It gets icy. It gets nasty. Take me to Stuck in the Mountains. Start tracking this, please. In my she Yeah, my Chevy CK1500. Okay, so we're going to go back up the hill, which is going to be real tough. And then we're going to come down here. Should be easy. Help me. NL's actually one of the best drivers in video games. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's why I got tapped for the sponsored deal. They probably watched me play Forza Eliminator. And they said, this is our man right here. He's clearly got an, uh, he's got a certain adeptness when it comes to handling the vehicle. I think we're doing pretty well in SnowRunner, too. I mean, I, we definitely could be doing worse. We have gotten stuck a few times. But the premise of the game is basically get stuck. So I think that, you know, it's business as usual, you know, working as intended. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. They saw that clip of you dodging the trees and said, this is our man. Exactly. I mean, not to mention, you know, if I can dodge through the trees going like 130 miles an hour. No, 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 no. Obviously going like four miles an hour. It's easy. This game kind of reminds me of Rocket League. How so? I mean, there's an obvious uh, comparison for sure. We do use vehicles in both games. There is indeed a car. It's a good Dan impression. It's like Tarkov with trucks. You drive around, you get loot. You haul the metal planks to Prapor and you get a hot rud. Last chance gas station. Look, I'm telling you, it's like, it's not an easy game, you know? You, you try to drive someplace in uh, Grand Theft Auto V, you just drive there, no problem. But at least it's not as hard as Double Switch. Oh my god. Okay, full tank of gas. on the house oh now we're cruising we just needed a little bit more weight I swear Kate makes fun of me but if our car is at like you know 25% full and then we fill it up I swear for like 15 minutes it drives like a F1 car stuck in the mountains we've got an emergency a group of scientists went into the mountains on an expedition and they must have gotten trapped after the storm there's a reward for anyone that can find and return them safely. I accept this, this noble goal. Deliver to the camp. Okay, I will. We don't, we don't have them yet. Switch cars to rescue them? Now that I think about it, we probably... Uh, I don't know if there's enough room for all the scientists in this vehicle. If, if they're okay riding in the... In the bed... I mean, come on. I got scientists in the back. Their thesis been attacked. We'll just, we'll leave it at that. Oh, okay, okay. Think about yourself here, brother. How are you going to get through this? You got, you got to use your noggin. You're not fording that freaking river. Take me back around this way. Is 
You're gonna have to go like this, like this, and then we'll see what the heck's going on up here. Look at that. He's loving it. I also, I gotta say, I love the... Like, polar fleece denim vest combo. I respect it. What if you could make it? I guess the problem for me is that I don't know what making it means in this situation. Because I didn't see an end to the river. Does the size of the truck impact the amount of S you can talk? Uh, yes. I mean, it's as stated in the opening uh, volley, the opening salvo of 100 Gex Magnum Opus Money Machine. The line, you talk a big game for someone with such a small truck, uh, it seems to have the implicit assumption, or even conclusion to be drawn from it, that if you had a larger trunk, you have more of an allowance for talking smack. Otherwise, they might say, you talk a big game and you have a small truck or something like that. If you had a larger truck, what would you put in it? Moving would have been a lot easier. I'm telling you, when we moved, I did like probably 40 trips in the Focus. And that wasn't even like furniture. It was just you could only fit four boxes in the thing. Two in the trunk and then two in the back seat. All the real furniture stuff was moved by movers. It's, n it's not a vehicle that was made to, to haul, in case that's not clear. We had movers for the, for the, the heavy stuff and the, the large stuff, but... Yes, the, the seats do fold down. You got me on that one. We're going to have to bust out the winch. All right, we're going to have to bu bust out the winch. You don't need to tutorialize this for me. I think I've demonstrated quite clearly. I am the master. Uh-oh, we got a real problem, boys. We got no we got no hardy oaks in our in our world right now. We're going to take it inch by inch. It's fine. That's just one tree. The utility pole? Yeah, but the utility pole is is not in the direction I want to go. We can always go back, but I mean I would rather go forward. Sand it. Just a little. Just a little. Good stuff. Okay, now you're in the stuff. Now you're in the stuff. Great recovery, dude. And we're we're a friend of nature. I'm telling you. This is Malf's game right here. If Malf is not playing this and Landlord Super on next Saturday's stream, he's fricked up. Can we make it to the utility pole yet? Oh, babe, we're not taking that thing down. Let's go. Right? I, I may have been a little premature in getting the, the winch off of this. Come on. Come on. This is how we used to get to school. Winching ourselves on the power lines both ways. Here's what I'm thinking. Attach the winch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This little... It might be small. However, it might be the largest tree of all, in terms of the amount of heart that it has. Mm 
We had to winch ourselves both ways to get to school. I don't want to take this tree down because you never know if it's going to stick around. You know, we might need the uh, we might need this tree in the future. Anyway, well, we're uh, kind of stuck in the in the muddy snow here. It's a good time to mention we are playing a game called Snow Runner that is the successor to a game called Mud Runner. This was sponsored by Focus Home Interactive. Thank you, Focus Home Interactive, for the sponsorship. You can type exclamation point snow runner into chat go check out the game for yourself pick it up if you're interested in spin tires mud runner or just general you know what's weird is that for a you know a situation that's very frustrating in real life i feel like this would be a very soothing multiplayer game to play with your friends in real life if i got stuck in the snow i mean honestly part of the problem is that i wouldn't know what to do that's definitely a big part of it. Um, so it would be stressful. Bridge repair discovered? Oh no. Um, not after everything we've been through. There's no way across. Are you sure? Yeah, those barriers can't stop me. I don't know how to read. I really only see two ways through this. One is we Tony Hawk 50-50 grind the rail. The other one is we just, just yeet it at max speed. You, you won't believe me. Alright, I've decided I no longer believe this is going to work. Never mind. We're doing it. You don't need... Who needs a bridge? Why would we fix a bridge? Every taxpayer in Michigan just buy a truck. It'll save the government a lot of money. Yo, but is this... The, oh, no, no, no. This is where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, yeah. No wide vehicles. Do not follow sat-nav. Have you ever gotten your car stuck in the snow? Legitimately, I have not. Basically, here's my history of driving. I learned how to drive. I got my uh, one away from my full license. Then I went to university for four years. Didn't drive once. When I got out of university, I got my full license that summer. Then I moved to South Korea, where I obviously did not own a car. And then I came back to my hometown for like a summer <laughs> and uh, just drove around and then went to live in Vancouver. And that's, uh, that explains how my car has never gotten stuck in the snow. This is a full winch situation for sure. I don't know. I wonder if we can winch ourselves out on this. We absolutely can. I mean, this is, this is a trip. This is not going to be easy. I shouldn't have been following my sat nav. Okay, attach winch here. Is there a winch point we can... There's really no winch points we can, we can draw on that are advantageous here except this. It's easy if you lock the differential. Yeah, but I can't lock the differential. On this truck. This this truck is uh, non-differentiable. Hmm. Well, they, uh, here's what I'm thinking. Attach this winch to, like, the side. And then... To this thing right here. But don't get pulled into the river. Don't pull yourself into the river. Okay. Disconnect that winch. 
What's the next step? So I was kind of just hoping... Once we got up here... We'd get a little bit more traction. <laughs> I think once we got some traction, we could make it happen. Okay, here's the thing. Put on your handbrake so you don't sink any further. We're gonna change trucks. Take me back. Oh my god, we've come so far. Okay. Freaking turning radius. Thank God for the DLC. That's all I'm going to say. Were it not for the DLC, we would be screwed. This is like those trucks they take glacier tours with in Iceland. This thing's not going to run into any trouble. Look at that. Yeah, plus it has a snorkel, apparently. Are we going the right way? You know what? Here's what we're going to do. There you go. There's my North Star. It's about a kilometer away. Put me in all-wheel drive, please. And we do have differential lock as well. Oh! <laughs> All right, all right. That's my mis that's my mistake. Um, can I can I just get a quick uh, repair on this, please? Just repair it all. Thank you, thank you. And if you could flip it as well. All right. Um, recover me, and I'll leave the garage now. It's a Jeep thing. You wouldn't understand. I didn't know there was Jeep culture. Like, I think, I now that I know that there's Jeep culture, where people, like, put hashtag Jeep life in their Twitter bios and stuff like that, I now realize why every Jeep ad is designed to make Jeep owners feel like they're military veterans currently living in a war zone. It's always on, baby. There you go. Like, I mean, I haven't seen a Jeep ad in a while. I've been watching a lot of TV. I usually saw them at the movie theater, honestly. Um, but every Jeep ad they play at the movie theater is basically like, other guys are pussies, but you drive a Jeep. Look at this. It's driving up a fucking mountain. That's crazy. You're not going to Whole Foods, are you? No, you're driving up a mountain. Shit's out of control. Look at this one. This one doesn't even have doors. You don't need a car with doors, do you, pussy? No, hell no. And then they show, like, uh, like an American cargo plane dropping, like, 900 Jeeps onto World War II battlefields. And they're like, remember this shit? We saved the world. And I'm like, just relax, okay? This, this ad is just abrasive. Then I guess every every car ad is is either boring or dishonest, right? Like the uh, the Mini Cooper ad that came out last year was like, "Hey, remember when the Mini Cooper won this incredible endurance race?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I mean, you're playing the ad in Vancouver. Really, I just see the Mini Cooper kind of like zipping around and and picking up groceries at Kin's Market. Toyota Camry ad is like, this one's for the workers. This one's for the dreamers, the creatives. And I'm like, I really just... I'm just gonna buy whatever car is best in class at the lowest possible price point. If a car ad was just like, we're the best cheap car, I would be like, alright. I respect it.
I mean, this thing is crushing it, dude. What features do you wish your car had? It's got to have sporty styling. Like, I want it to look like a luxury car, but cost like a budget car. Too small. You have some good car ideas, Paul. You know what I would really like in a car? Is uh, it being made by a company whose CEO doesn't have a Twitter account. But I'm bummed. Anyway. Hold on. No, 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 no. Okay, that's right. We decided do not ford the river. Functional transmission would help out a lot. No denying that. I, I should cool it on the... I don't, I don't want to accidentally make things hard for... Uh, for Focus Home Interactive. If they're like, we have... So much Jeep DLC coming for the game. <laughs> it's, well, we were going to use uh, this opportunity to announce our Jeep Liberty DLC bundle, but uh, I suppose not. I know I have a snorkel, but I want to make sure I'm actually going in the way that will allow me to get the other truck out. I want, I want to tow our, our other truck up, if possible. So I'm here. Hold on. Can we drive back here? Here? Oh, that would still take us there. You're not wrong. Oh, that's right. We had to cross the bridge. No, no, no. We're going we're gonna to do this the new fashion way anyway. This thing is cruising, though. There ain't no doubt about that. That's not gonna work? I I don't know. This thing has been doing a great job so far. I think there's a very realistic chance that the DLC resin will allow this to work. I will admit the turning radius. I mean, it's, it's always on all-wheel drive, so I think that's part of the issue, but... Pardon me, Kate? What's up? Ah, our fake flower is falling. It's like a... Code words you would use to activate, like, a sleeper agent. Our fake flower is falling. <laughs> Repeat mission directive. Oh, we've done it. Train car. Oh, no, 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 no. Came very close to disaster there. Very close to disaster. Okay, now, you just, you know what? Someone else laid out the path for me in advance. It's just that easy. Oh, it's not even, they're not even giving me any uh, error messages here. They're like, you're good to go, sir. Okay, now, this is the moment of truth. That sign, whatever, dude. That's the taxpayer's problem. I'm a small business owner. Operational expense. We didn't even have to use the winch at all here. Okay, so step one. Very, very easily made it through there. Not a problem whatsoever. 
The next step is just attach a winch. And then pull up our... Pull up our other one. I mean, it's doing it. <laughs> it's doing it. Look at that. Completely saved. And then the scientists, they can just drive their own truck back. Is this the right way? Whoops. Sure, why not? Yo, Joe High Death, thank you, thank you. Leave the truck and come back for it? I, I refuse. I refuse. No truck left behind. Yeah, hey, stop tailgating me. You joker. Stop telling me to repair. I don't, I don't need the repair. What I do need is sat nav. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Get out of here. We've made it into the mountain pass. I mean, no wonder the scientists got stuck up here. This is not a road for scientists to drive. Plumbers, carpenters, drywall hangers. Sure. I mean, men of science? Come on. Stick to your laboratory, sweetheart. This is... this is Alaska. I feel like I've just gotten myself... back to the base of the mountain. But you know what? Sometimes you gotta tackle things from a different uh, from a different angle. Sometimes you gotta tackle things from a different angle, a jeep angle. This one goes out to the people who aren't afraid to bend the rules a little bit. full send up the hill now you're speaking my language you might have to take down a couple of god's winch operators in the in the process i ask you a very simple question the very simple question i ask you is how how could this happen? I mean, if you saw a jeep like this in the wild, you would ask many questions. You would be like, what, what happened there? The physics of it don't seem to make any sense. I can't believe it's doing it. I, I cannot believe it's doing it. This thing is actually a monster truck. Can I do the what? My best impression of a monster truck would be something like, Monday, 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 we've got Gravedigger, Flashbang, Nail Bomb, 
at the second biggest arena in your hometown. Not the one where the real sports play, but the one that they used to play in in the 60s before they built the new stadium. Tickets starting legitimately at 99 cents. The economics do not make a lick of sense whatsoever. How could this business model possibly be sustainable? Take your nine-year-old son so your wife and their mother can have an afternoon off. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Uh, hold on. I'm here. A group of scientists got into the mountains. Yeah. Restart uh, under no circumstance. I've, I've just saved their lives. I'm here. I dare not restart. Here, you know, okay, I'll pull him home. All right, if you want me to pull him home, you should have just said pull him home. I'll pull him home. I'm not afraid of pulling him home. Um, yeah. Might take a bit. That's beautiful weather. Okay, so they're out of fuel. I'm, I'm just... You don't have to have any fuel. Can you just put him in neutral, please? Can you just put this son of a gun in neutral? Can you take your handbrake off? Yeah, there you go. This does seem like a good way to get myself killed. Here, follow me, boys. I'm gonna need you, just put it in neutral, and I'm gonna need you to steer, okay? You, that, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I needed you to steer. Instead of steering or using your brakes, this is what you've chosen to do. That's okay, though, because you know what? I'd like to- I'd like to detach my winch, please. Winch doesn't work with the engine off? Oh, son of a gun. Bring the other truck. <laughs> First off, let's let some time pass. Okay, there we go. Start this off in the afternoon. Okay. Here we go. Certainly, this one should have no problem making it up here. Just use the recover function. Yeah, but it's gonna it's gonna toss me like so far back, right? I'm still holding out hope that Mother Nature might just save me here. Ladies and gentlemen. Two days later, we James Franco'd ourselves out of this. Okay. First things first, you gotta take out all these trees. Oh my god. <laughs> that tree was too strong for me. I didn't... Okay, okay. Recover. Sure, recover. You see how far away this freaking uh, objective is? It doesn't even show up for us anymore. I gotta wait for spring to melt the snow. I gotta be honest, the snow, it, the mountains are too hard for me. I really just needed a mission that was like, hey, deliver wood. You know what? We can, we can rebuild that bridge. Yes, metal bridge. Is there any way we can take the contract on that right off the bat? Or do we have to drive there first? We can at least complete a bridge. Bridge repair. Thank you. Thank you. Deliver to the bridge metal planks from the factory. Understood. We 
You can't carry the materials in this. Ah! You're absolutely right. This thing is not capable of carrying the materials. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the garage. And we're going to go back to Michigan. Okay? Everything's fine in Michigan. Then we're going to get this GMC right here. <laughs> and then we're going to drive this to the garage. Oh, man, this is beautiful weather. We're going to drive this to the garage. And then we're going to put this into truck storage. And we're going to take this son of a gun to Alaska. Because to be honest, I'm not sure either of our other vehicles are really built for Alaska. Except for the Jeep, which is obviously built for Alaska. But uh, I'm not built for Alaska. Why don't you say garage, right? What do you call it? A car hole? built for any terrain. Who? They really should make a snow runner Vancouver. The one or two days per year that it snows. The final boss could be like drive south on Oak Street. It would be an incredible piece of, of technology. Have you called your mother today? I called her yesterday. Embarrassingly enough, like a, like a fool, I called my mom yesterday and I said, Happy Mother's Day. I was on speakerphone. The first thing my dad said is, it's tomorrow. I was like, oh, son of a gun. But I was like, happy early Mother's Day. Sorry, right. I don't play by the calendar's rules. So today I sent her a text that said, Happy Real Mother's Day. And she said, Ha ha ha. Thank you. We did get her, uh... Uh, some succulents, though. You know, like the cactus-style plants. You know, some succulents. I mean, I gotta tell you, as long as we're out in Mother Nature here in SnowRunner, um, recently released, and you can type exclamation point uh, SnowRunner into chat in order to uh, get some more information on the game and how you can pick it up for yourself. Uh, as long as we're talking about the great outdoors, our plants are, are growing up a storm. Help. Help me on, um, let's go, let's go. On Monday, we planted arugula, Swiss chard, lettuce, and kale. And the, I think it's the arugula. The arugula is out of control. All right, you're absolutely right. We are going to get, we're going to get stuck here. So just recover and take me to the closest point retain travel alaska take me to the garage there we go truck storage the gmc we're out okay okay he has done it This thing's going to sink instantly. Uh, that's where you're wrong, bucko. I need metal. Yes. Yes. I need metal. Let's go. Does it even have snow tires? If you're a good driver, you don't need snow tires. You just drive stickier.
please note this stream is satire and uh, anything I say should be uh, taken as a joke when it comes to real world events. Yo, I like the speed lines. Okay, look at that. See, I told you I knew how to drive in the on the ice. It's so simple. Just point your car where you want to go. Sometimes you're gonna have to counter steer a little bit. No big deal. This thing handles like a dream. It's okay. This is what you, you speak softly, drive safely, and carry a big winch. That's all you need to know. We are not effed. I don't tolerate that sort of uh, Nietzschean malaise. We have blind optimism here. Much like the CEO of the Fire Festival, we're not a problem-focused organization. We're a solution-focused organization. All right, I will say I would like a solution for getting up this hill. Never mind, the solution is just hit the gas forehead. Yo, thank you. You watch my Binding of Isaac videos every day at work, first time catching the stream. I am a, I, I stream a variety of games, but I mainly stream games where you get large trucks stuck in the mud. I find it therapeutic. Step one is low gear. Oh my god, it's working. I can't believe it. Oh, look at the, look at the mud deforming. You could do it. Yeah, just get, move your wheels a little bit. Okay, well then you, it's very simple. Then you just gotta... Okay, keep those spinning. Keep those spinning. And then... Attach the winch. That's a mighty maple. That thing ain't going down. My bad, I was mashing buttons there. Definitely not a maple. It's a maple tree. I mean, it's an American maple, so it looks different than the maples you're used to. I think you guys might call it a spruce. I'll level with you. I don't know anything about trees. You know, there's probably only like a couple of different kinds of tree I can name. Number one, Christmas tree. I, I was looking at Kate the whole time because I was like, this one's going to get her good. She, she's laughing. Is bamboo a tree? I recognize bamboo when I see it. That counts? It does not count. Okay, fair enough. Um... Rosemary? Red maple, Canadian maple, Japanese maple, mm, maple scampi, coconut maple, popcorn maple, garlic butter maple. There was a story, someone posted security footage from outside of their home in Vancouver, and someone in the dead of night dug up and stole the Japanese maple tree that was in front of their home. It was absolutely unfathomable to me. We do want to turn right here. So, and then I read up on it a little bit, and I... I guess, uh, like, Japanese maples are, like... A, very well liked. And B, like, quite expensive. Like, a, a Japanese maple... Sampling could be like a hundred bucks, but like as it gets older, it can be like several hundred dollars. And then everybody in the comments, because this was on the Vancouver subreddit, was like, Yeah, I work at the parks board, and like every year we pack or we, we place down like a bunch of uh, 
like new flowers and trees and stuff in the parks. And then oftentimes within like a couple of months, they're all stolen. Like people will just come to the park and dig up the flowers for like their own garden. Savages, dude. I mean, there are worse problems to have, and Vancouver has most of them. It's more like, you know, when your city has a problem with, like, income inequality, you're like, yeah. But, like, it's, that's a complicated problem. It's hard to, you know, just fix it immediately. And then, if, if somebody's coming around stealing plants, you're like, come on. That's like, that's like a rich crime. Why are you doing a rich crime? You should just buy your own plants. I think we want to turn left at this rock. Yeah, okay. But the taxpayer paid for the flowers? Well, I mean, yeah. The taxpayer pays for, like, the hospital as well. It doesn't mean you can just go to the Vancouver General Hospital and be like, hey, I'll take a, you know, one defibrillator, please. <laughs> mm, I'll take uh, 12 ventilators I'll have you know I paid $1,500 in tax last year I believe I am entitled to them I'll take one doctor's full time position please Come on. Come on. I know you can make it. Can I, borrow, can I borrow your police car real quick? Come on. Anyway, don't steal that stuff. Obviously. Maybe this might be controversial, but if, I think if you catch somebody uh, stealing... A flower from a... Not like picking a flower. That's whatever. But like digging up a flower bush. I think that legally you should be able to audit them for a decade. I think it should just trigger an automatic audit for, for 10 years. Because I don't trust that person. It's like people were bringing it up. The, the shopping cart uh, thing from 4chan. The shopping cart hypothesis. That was like the shopping cart is the perfect way to uh, determine if somebody is a good actor in society when people are not watching them. Because, like, you know, the, the shopping cart, nobody's gonna... You, there's no consequences for not bringing the shopping cart back, you know, to the cart return area. But it's just something you know is the right thing to do, and it inconveniences you only slightly. That's how I kind of feel about the flower stuff. I'm like, if you're stealing from a park... I don't think you're a good actor, and I think you should be audited, quite frankly. Like every year, but at least for a decade. Yeah, Chad, if you don't put your cart back, start putting your cart back. It's, you know, if you've ever found yourself saying, well, they hire people for that, just, just stop. I'm here, I'm here to... I'm saving you from a public relations nightmare in the future. Now, I will say, Omrecker replied to my tweet about the shopping cart thing and said, I have always put other people's carts back, too. And I was like, all right, this guy is like a saint. I don't take other people's carts back unless they're on the way. But I always take my own cart back. Where, where my political compass is instead, is I look at other people's carts and go, Come on, what, are you raised in a barn? Don't do it. Don't, uh, come on. Don't do me like this. I'm giving it all she's got. Low gear, low gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't they make a road? 
Kate, they just elected a governor who slashed state-level income tax to 0.25%. They don't have the capital in Lansing. Sorry, we're in Alaska right now. They don't have the capital in Juneau right now to build a road here. Plus, yeah, they're giving away all their gas for free. Oh! We're making some progress. I don't know how much fuel we burned moving nowhere, but... Oh, we made it all the way to this mighty, mighty poplar. I think we tore it down already. Please, the oak. Sir, the oak. We're not pulling that bad boy down. The mighty Christmas tree. The mighty... Here, I'm, I'm sincerely... There's only a couple of trees I can name. Christmas tree. Like, on site. Number one is Christmas tree. I'll get it every time. Because there's a little star on it. And all the bells and stuff. Number two, Dollar Tree. Number three, Oliver Tree. That's it. I can name three trees. Christmas tree. Dollar Tree. And Oliver Tree. That's all I got. Ah, uh, that's true. And the U2 album, Joshua Tree. I mean, because it starts with where the streets have no name, then with or without you. I think right after that, right after with or without you, it has the audacity to go into still haven't found what I'm looking for. Which is just like, come on. You're going to front load your album to that extreme? That's a madness. Joshua Tree has one more killer song on it, though. I can't remember what it is. It's not Pride in the Name of Love, because that would make it the greatest album of all time. It's not yellow. That's Coldplay. You knew that. I don't think it's Sunday, Bloody Sunday. You know what? This is a winch situation. I'd like to select the winch point. Oh! Not that one. There we go. This one. This one. Hey, you look a little stuck there, brother. Working hard or hardly working? That's alright. That tree was only uh, 35 years old. I'm begging you. Oh, let's go. There was another Vancouver news story that got me really bad. Like, in the way that was just, like, shaking my head. I didn't actually lose any faith in society because it's already been gone. But, like, last summer, somebody cut down a tree that, like, was not on their property. It belonged to the city. And it was like 150 years old or something like that. Don't let Malf hear this. He'll never recover psychologically. Um, and then they were like, well, the tree really, like the coincidence here is that when that tree got cut down, one of the houses on the hill got an unbelievable view of the beach in the Pacific Ocean. So I do think that we have a suspect. And it turns out that, yes, indeed, um, they did, I don't know if it was a confession or whatever, but the guy uh, got dinged for it and just basically, I guess, decided, like, this tree is ruining my view, so he just chopped it down. That's a $100,000 fine. Oh, <laughs> Now you're speaking my language, brother. Now you are speaking my language. It's 
True, the view might have raised his property value by more than that. Sadly. But they should, as far as I'm concerned, he cut down a bird's house. They should have to give his house to a bird. And then he can live in a sugar maple. Well, you know what? I guess my guy's going to sleep in his truck tonight. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're making progress here. Tree law is insane. Oh my god. This is the progress. <laughs> I thought we were like 90% of the way there. We have not moved at all. But alas, we have come to the end of our time. It was SnowRunner. A more patient gamer. Could pick up that 684 meter metal plank situation. Where he would then be able to uh, drive it to the bridge and rescue the scientists. Unfortunately, it's not for me to do today. Anyway, thank you Focus Home Interactive for sponsoring this section. Thank you Focus Home Interactive. I appreciate it. It's always a good opportunity to uh, put the pedal to the metal and get myself out of some difficult situations. Thanks to them for the sponsorship. Please go type exclamation point SnowRunner in the chat. And, uh, you know, learn yourself a little something about getting yourself out of a sticky situation. It just came out. It's got multiplayer. It's got a full-fledged campaign mode. You can go to Alaska. You can go to Michigan. You can go to Russia. The three snowiest places on Earth. No offense, Norway. Either way, thanks for watching.